Hey guys, what is up? Today I'm going to be teaching you the um, You Shook Me All Night Long solo by ACDC. This is one of the hardest things that I've ever played besides my Jingle Bell Rock video because that, that took me forever to learn. Um, I promised you guys this one a little while back when I taught the rest of the song. So here it is. It's a little hard. You do not need a capo um, and be ready to bend a lot of strings. Um, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe this video and uh, comment any songs down below that you want me to do next. I think soon I'm going to be doing Lucid Dreams. I don't know when, but yeah, I'm going to be doing that. And uh, that's pretty much it, so let's get right into this video. Alright guys, so starting off this song, I'm going to roll up my volume. I'm going... That's the iconic bend at the start of the song. So it's going to be your first finger on the third fret of the B and third finger on the fifth fret of the G. And you're only going to strum those two notes, but then bend the G string a full step. So it'd be going like... So it'd be like going that, so... You can do either way. You can go... Which is a lot easier for beginners, but... That's the... Then that's the next part, you go bar the 3rd fret of the high E and B string, and then play E, B on the 3rd fret. So, um, 3 on the E, 3 on the B, um, that's gonna be 6 on the B. that same note that we started to bend. So that same one right there on the G fifth fret. You're gonna go number sixth fret. So. That's the next part we're gonna be playing. 3rd fret of the G string, and then we're going to be barring the D and A strings on the 5th fret. So you're going to be playing, then that, 3, 5, 5, and then, and if you know your uh, pentatonic scales, this should be pretty easy. This is a G minor pentatonic scale for this part, so. First pattern. So you go, uh, walking down from the D string. Five, three, five, three, and then six, three. Five, three, five, three, six, three. So let's run through that last part. fret of the G. Uh, and then the fifth fret of the D. So three, five, five, three. Three, five, five, three. So uh, let's see. part we slide up so make your fingers into the shape where on the G and B strings you have your second finger on the uh, like third fret of the G string and then your second finger or your first finger on the second fret of the B string and you're gonna plug the, um, the G string so G, slide up to the 7th fret, and put your first fingers on the 6th, and then you play that too. So, slide 7, 6, 6, slide 7, 6, 6, and then you slide up to the 9th uh, fret, so 9, uh, 8, 8, it's the same thing. 
and then play that again, so. G, B. You're gonna take your third finger and put it on the tenth fret of the B. Bend it a half step. Then put your pinky right below it on the tenth fret of the E and play that. So. So you're gonna bend it up, keep it there, play the tenth fret of the E, bring it back, and then pull back to the uh, eighth fret of the B. So. that you're putting your pinky this might be a little hard bend for beginners you put your pinky on the 11th fret Sorry. so bend half step back down play again and then 8 10 8 B G B so play through the entire uh, first part of the song. So. And, um, So this part is, you're going to take your first finger and put it on the 15th fret of the E, third finger put it on the, uh, sorry, 18th fret of the E, uh, of the B. So play once and then bend the B straight up. So. And then bend that. Oh wait. This is exactly like this. So down here, it, you know the shape that we did? That. Um, you're just gonna take that up and move it an entire arm. So back up to these dots, bar this. So. Um, 15, 15, 18. And then bend that 17th fret. So that's how far we have it. Yeah. So that part is after you do that bend. play 15, 17 on the G, then D. So you have Then you bend this, uh, the uh, 17th fret of the G string. Bend it up, and then put your pinky on the 18th fret of the B. And bring it back down. So you have and then you come back to this note, the seventeenth fret of the D. Ah, uh, so. And then 
barring those two strings, the, uh, the G and B, you're going to be doing 17, 15, 17, 15. After you go, you're gonna go. So play the 15th of the E, and then bend the uh, pick and bend the 18th, and then the 17th, and then 15 on the E, 17 on the G. No, sorry, B. And then roll this finger back, or your second finger back, so you cover the 17th fret. And then E on the 17th fret, E, D, and then 15 on the E. And then bend the 18th of the B, so. And then 15, 18, 17, bend, 15, bend uh, back on the 17 of the G. So. And then 15, 18, 15 of the E. Hammer on from the 15 to the 18. And then 15, 18. Then back to 15, 17. Bend the 17. Then play that uh, 15 times. Okay, that was a lot. So let's just go over the last part. And then the entire last part is. Starting from the beginning. guys that was it for uh you shoot me all night long solo by acdc um like i said it's kind of hard uh yes turn up your gain for the song i don't know if i said that earlier but it's better with gain um also if you haven't already please like and subscribe and comment anything down below that you want me to do like i said i'm going to be doing lucid dreams probably not next video but some video in the future so be prepared for that um but I'm glad to do any other songs as long as it's not something hard like, I don't know, Van Halen Eruption. Can't do that. But uh, I'd be glad to teach you anything else. And that's pretty much it for this video, so I'll see you in the next one.